Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 17th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, and I also want to apologize. I reported an X class solar flare the other day as the data was not being reported. But it was just an M-class solar flare. A strong M-class at that. This is the last 48 hours of imagery showing no major solar flares. Pretty large plasma filament eruption in the last few views there. This is the last 48 hours incoming as we do have multiple sunspots on the Earth-facing disk right now. That active opposite side has now spun around. Looking the last 48 hours outgoing, lots of plasma filaments dancing around the surface of our sun, showing multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. C-class solar flares, the strongest that we've seen today, and there was a few of them. We also have a equatorial coronal hole right there. And that is Earth-facing right now. Already seeing geomagnetic instability. KP index was up at 5. And this is a look at another light on our sun. At the active 12 sunspot regions on our sun right now. Amazing imagery here. Able to show our heliosphere. Pretty much the magnetic field of our sun and how it's acting. And here are fluid motion sunspots. Having a look here at current space weather conditions, we are under R1 radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, geomagnetic storm impacts are expected from the most recent CME. Solar winds are coming in right now, 354 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux. Showing two M-class solar flares, well, multiple M-class, about four of them. And that was two days ago. We've seen C-class solar flares throughout the day today. Solar X-ray flux is low. Geomagnetic activity, as he said, hopped up to a KP5 earlier today. Showing here the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their prediction spiral. As we were expecting this event today and into tomorrow, this is showing the most recent CME models from looks like about three blasts in an Earth-facing direction. So multiple CMEs impacting us tonight and into tomorrow. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing here one of the CMEs. This one was completely Earth-directed, smashing into Mercury along the way as it did go retrograde over the past few days. And that was a pretty sizable CME. And this is the most recent here, showing a faint south direction CME. Not expected to hit Earth. Showing here the last seven days of the X-ray flux. We've seen about four multiple uh, moderate M-class solar flares. And it has been hopping up as of late now that those sunspot regions are coming in. Having a look here at Lasco 3 Cornograph, showing the last 48 hours of space weather leaving our sun. No sun diving comets to talk about. And no major CMEs or Earth-directed solar events. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it did start out with a large earthquake here. 6.3 Iwo Jima, Japan, just off the coast, but thousands of felt reports there. Quiet through the Pacific Plate. 4.4 here, Hicks Bay, northern New Zealand. As well as 5.0 here reported Bellany Islands south of the Australian plate. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours. 209 kilometer depth, San Antonio de Cobros. 
And then we look at North America here as we've seen seismicity increase, especially through Los Angeles and southward into the Gulf of California. Multiple 4.4s to 4.9 and as well 3.0 there. Petrolia, California. 4.3 Turkey. That was reported yesterday. Same with that one there in Iran. But let's have a closer look here at North American Plate as there are some swarms to talk about. Reporting right now 276 earthquakes, 24-hour period. We're up at about 310 this morning. That is mostly due to the increasing activity across the California state. Notable activity here through Los Angeles. Even Long Beach. 2.6 earthquake there reported. Small swarm occurring at the Coso Junction, south and north. North of Mono Lake. And as well, the geysers. As the geysers are reporting about 63 earthquakes today. Having a look here across the United States, we still have some minor activity occurring in New Jersey. Califon, New Jersey, 1.1 magnitude earthquake there reported. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. I want to welcome you all to the channel. There are a lot of new followers and a lot of new faces. And thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all the love and support to this channel. I, I'm happy that I'm able to share this awareness and preparedness with the world. Pretty active West Pacific plate right now. Multiple volcanoes eruption, multiple volcano eruptions in the area. Notable, the Rung Volcano. Having a look at the Southern Hemisphere versus the North. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide emissions forecast, brought to you by our active and erupting 46 volcanoes around the world notable through the Aleutian Islands the Sitka the Great Sitkin volcano southern hemisphere notable there southeast of South America Michael volcano overlooking Southeast Asia Europe and Russia Big plume coming from the Iceland volcano, funneling down into parts of Eastern Europe right now. Norway, Finland. And overlooking Australia, New Zealand. Big plume through the Philippines, northern Indonesia. And that is from a recent eruption at the Rung Volcano. near Ternate. Other than that, no major new eruptions to report. Having a look here across the North Pacific. Having a look here at the current eruptions as there are 46 volcanoes that are active and or erupting that is brought to you by the smithsonian weekly volcanic activity report now let's have a look at weather here for the world world weather brought to you by windy.com we've got a big low scooting across eastern canada and as well through the prairies prairies are seeing some cold temperatures and snow big high pressure ridge coming from the north Going to cool things down over the next few days. And then low pressure system scoots into Ontario for the 22nd to the 23rd. We could see snow on the backside of that system. Long range forecast, things will be warming up by the 26th. And some 
big lows moving into the west coast. So lots of moisture heading towards you, even as far south as California. So some much needed moisture. Overlooking Europe, multiple lows scooting through this week. High pressure ridge building in over the United Kingdom by the 21st. So clearing out. And then could see some extreme weather through the Mediterranean, parts of Italy. Long range forecast. Overlooking South Africa, Australia, Indonesia, Southeast Asia. Some extreme weather moving towards North New Zealand. High pressure ridge off the coast of Australia and south of Australia. It's going to be drying things out this week. And then overlooking North Pacific. We do have a possible typhoon developing long range there, heading towards northern Japan. And then that low pressure system will scoot into the Bering Strait, up into Alaska, and then spin around and come back. Hope you enjoyed the show, everybody. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.